Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Both my dogs, Wicket and Pixie, are currently behaving. So I want to take this moment, capture it on digital film. Okay, so I've taken a picture there. And just to make sure I got it, I'm going to go ahead and take a, another image here with this Android device. All right, sorry about the brightness there. There's really no way of adjusting it in that particular app. Now, what I'm going to do, apart from taking another picture there in the background, is transfer those images that I just shot on both the iPhone and an Android device to the iPad. It's really easy to do. All you need is Bump, and Bump has typically been used to send contact information back and forth. You might remember the interview I did with one of the Bump developers. I'm going to go ahead and launch the Bump application on the iPhone. Flip over to the Photos tab, attach a photo, there's the one I accidentally shot, here's the one I want to send, and now all I need to do is bump. Alright, it's asking me if I want to send the photo or accept the photo, I could also post that transaction to Facebook, which I'm not going to do. So the iPad didn't send anything to the iPhone, so I can set that aside for now, but the photo was received here on the iPad, and I can view it directly from here. Or, of course, it was also saved to uh, the iPad, uh, I guess it would be Pictures folder. Now, I could do the same thing through the Android app. In fact, the Android app has a few other features that uh, the iPhone app does not have, or I guess the iPhone and iPad app, and that would be to be able to attach and send apps instead of just bumping photos or contact information. So we're going to go ahead and attach photos. Let's see here. There's the one I just shot. Attach one total. And now it's ready to bump. Here we go. Would you like to accept? Yes. Yes. And now the photo that I just shot on the Android device has been passed along to the iPad. Easy peasy and free. Bump is the name of the application. B-U-M-P, except no substitutions, and it works on both the iPhone, Android platform, and then of course, well, if it's the iPhone, then it also would work with the iPod Touch as well as the uh, iPad. All you need is a network connection. So if you don't already have Bump, I suggest getting it. It is the simplest way of transferring photos from your mobile device or your smartphone, if it's an Android or an iPhone, to the iPad. And I apologize for all the fingerprints and glare, but this is the best I could do. My email address, chris at perillo.com. My blog, chris.perillo.com. Uh, my dogs, Wicket and Pixie, do not have email addresses, nor are they really on Twitter. But if you want to find me on Twitter, I'm at twitter.com slash chrisperillo. I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash chrisperillo. What do you think, Wicket? Do you want a Facebook account? Not really. youtube.com slash chrisperillo. And I think people are going to think that uh, Pixie is passed out. Pixie, are you okay right now? Pixie? Pixie? Okay, I think I saw her leg move. She, she's okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, you're good? You're good. Okay. Just making sure. Had a little too much doggy wine earlier. <clears throat> and then, of course, you know you can uh, find me here, typically in the, my home office in Seattle, Washington, uh, with a chat room where we're typically talking tech, even if I'm not there, the community certainly is. In conjunction with LockerGnome.net and LockerGnome.com, we've got a chat room, part of a live video feed that comes streaming through this particular camera 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.